So you Geminis felt like you were very delusional at one point in time. You have the Page of Cups, which represents um, the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the world, which represents you Geminis thinking that the way that things worked was completely different than what it actually, how it actually works. So the Page of Cups represents, like I said, the silly delusion of what it is that you thought before, right? You thought that, you know, a lot of people really did have your best interest in mind. The ones that was around you, friends and family and even romantic relationships, they cared about you. And then, right, you realize the Nine of Cups, it was your arrogance. You, you Geminis were thinking wrongly about those quality people that you thought were really quality, but they're actually not. So now the moon represents, you were caught up in a delusion of grandeur where you, you thought that other people think like you, right? Free, a little bit more free, a little bit more busy, a little bit more focused on, you know, moving up in the world. But the five of pentacles represents you, you Gemini's has successfully escaped that mentality that you once had of being delusional and thinking that, you know, um, you can make friends out of any old anybody, you know, because that's a problem with air signs. They, you know, the air signs, they, they own best friends, they own closest relationships, be the people that 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 be disliking them, that be that don't like them, that be trying to move them up on out of the way. And the thing with, with air signs, right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right, as I'm doing with y'all, is that you, the air signs have to realize that you'll know people are really down for you because they're actually putting in work for you in the first place. And what I mean when I say putting in work is they're there. They're deciding that, you know, they're not just around, but they're actually doing something actively to make sure that you're okay. They're asking you, they're putting in an effort, right? So even when it comes to that romantically, right? You've escaped, like I said, you've, you've removed yourself from that ideology that, because let's, let's go back because, you know, when you were younger, a lot of you Geminis would be surprised at how somebody that you assumed would care about you because you hung out with them and you think that you and this person has a spiritual high level connection when a lot of you Geminis realize that that's not really what happened. To them, you were handsome or pretty, but they didn't, but they were, they didn't care about you like that. And you Geminis had to learn the hard way because the, the air signs, like it is that I said before, specifically with you Geminis, y'all didn't come into the world cold and hard. Y'all came into the world, the world like everybody else comes into the world, softer. But a lot of but Gemini is ruled by Mercury. So we, you know, I'm not a Gemini, but I'm a Virgo. But being ruled by Mercury is rough because you don't have the, you don't, Mercury does not show you that mercy of sentimentality. It's about you have to under, you have to figure out when cold hard facts come to you how you need to adjust because people don't care about you nor do they consider you when when you know what i'm saying to be ruled by mercury is like that right so the eight of pentacles represents you realize that Self-preservation is the law of the land. And what I mean by that is when it comes to love, it's about you creating your own happiness for, for yourself, right? By making sure that you Geminis on a foundational level, you're good. And what I mean by that is, are you good spiritually? Are you good health-wise? Are you good financially? 
Are you educating yourself, right? How's, how are things with your family? You know what I mean? And, and putting priority, which is yourself, over everyone else, but not doing it in, a, in, an, in an overly selfish manner to the point where it ruins relations, all, all forms of relationships, because the only thing that matters to you is yourself and, 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 your, and your work, your life's work, right? No, it's about priorities. But a lot of you Geminis understand that now, right? And the Ace of Swords now represents so, and, and because you understand that now, now things are put into perspective for you Geminis, right? So the tower now represents big brand new changes, big changes that are happening to and for you Geminis that you Geminis are very much so aware of but it started out subtly. It started out, you didn't really notice too much uh, Too much was going on at first and then things started to get switched up for you. Why? Because this is your life. And you Geminis understand that you being ruled by Mercury, this is what it is that Mercury does, changes. Mercury is the only planet that is not day, orientated or nighttime orientated all the other planets that make up the zodiac signs they're either day or night orientated so mercury is both as to where jupiter is day orientated capricorn is night orientated venus is day orientated mars is night orientated you know what i'm saying you know so um, what's the other one? Uh, yeah, so, you know, I'm just to name a few, right? Saturn is night orientated. No, excuse me, Saturn, excuse me. Saturn is day orientated, excuse me. So, you're still changing. A lot of you Geminis are very much so still changing. You're still growing, right? And I'm not even going to lie to you, Geminis. The quality of, of the, the people that you have a taste for, right? The, the, the people that you are attracted to is changing because of it. Because a lot of you Geminis are starting to realize, again, and I'm not trying to rhyme. I'm saying a lot of you Geminis are, are realizing that a lot of people don't necessarily have your best interest in mind like that. And you find out in a surprising way because that's a part of a lot of y'all problem, you know, and I'm not bashing y'all. I'm just telling y'all what to do to get your, to get yourself through that problem. A lot of Geminis, you assume that when you hang out with somebody enough that this person is supposed to have your back. But what you don't do is a lot of you Geminis do not have conversations with them, deliberately putting them in a position where they have to answer the questions, right? Are they something exclusive with you, right? And this is what I mean when I say you need to apply pressure. So the tower now represents big changes are in your life because now a lot of you Geminis are mad. You Geminis now are mad. A lot of you Geminis are upset. So now you have that level of irritation in you. A lot of you Geminis are, are realizing that you're not going to allow yourselves to go, to go just misunderstood. You're, you're going to actually speak up more and be more abrupt and more direct as to what you want and apply pressure. Ask people, are the two of you, are, are the two of you in a relationship? What's going on? And if they can't give you a straight up answer, or if they tell you that, you know, the two of you are just chilling, you Geminis are going to go about your business because you have the answer that you want, right? So the hanged man now represents, and a lot of you Geminis are learning to be much more patient. Even though, even though Gemini, y'all are smart and all of that, y'all don't really exhibit a lot of patience because you, you are busy bodies y'all are all over the place so that can that can give way 
to a certain level of 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 impatience to a degree right but the hangman represents and you know now that things are changing for you you have to allow things to be what they are right and that is exactly what is empowering you a lot of times people spend way too much time trying to fight against circumstances when they don't seem to understand that what they need to do is they need to surrender and allow themselves to be a part of the circumstance and a part of the situation instead of trying to go against it because going against this situation is what messes you up sometimes sometimes some situations are unavoidable and that's the point right it's a juncture point in time and what i mean by that is if you don't have this this confrontation right then you're not going to get to where it is that you want to be you have to go through it if you are going to get to where it is that you want to it's not optional if you don't go, if it is in a sense that you can choose not to go through it but if you don't go through it you're not going to propel yourself further to where it is that you want to be so you have to now choose so the so the tower now right as you can see people falling the tower now right the people falling represents the relationships that needs to be ended that you're going to actually apply pressure ask people what's going on and then you gemini's the hangman represents patience but it also represents allowing allowing that be surrendering allowing the situations the, the relationships that need to be ended the relationships that need to crumble break down to do so because those are the the people that never really had your 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 best interest at heart over the long term anyway and that's how it's that's how things play itself out people don't want to hear surrender people don't want to hear things like that not even realizing that's very powerful because even specifically even with my own situation how how i allowed things to play out is i realized at one point in time those so those so-called friends were not my friends and i had to learn to let those so-called friends go and stop trying so hard to be liked so i stopped trying now i actually am liked <laughs> because I actually am liked because now I'm not trying to be liked because for me, I don't care. I'm going to show up. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to just enjoy myself. And if people want to be around me as they enjoy their own life, that's great. That's I, I encourage that. But the but to be dysfunctional and you know what I'm saying? It, like I don't care about all of that. If a person doesn't want to hang out, they don't want to hang out. And I'm not going to run someone down for not wanting to hang out, right? What I'm going to run someone down for is their, them being disingenuous. And I may not even do that. I may just decide to not care, right? But the point that I'm trying to make here is the power of letting go is what really sets you up 20, 25 places on the chessboard because you put yourself in front of the in front and in control of your own life by letting go of dysfunctional relationships the one of the biggest things that all the zodiac signs have a problem with is y'all are hanging out with people that you know you shouldn't be hanging out with that muddy the waters because these will be people that will bring you down the four of wands and the ace of pentacles represents and you know, a lot of you Geminis are really finding it harder and harder to maintain dysfunctional relationships. And I'm letting you Geminis know right now, the more you do this, the more you strive to be on point with yourself is the harder relationships is going to be to maintain, dysfunctional relationships is going to be to maintain for you. Because you're in a time right now, like it is that I said before, that only real people can actually be around you. So a lot of you Geminis are going to find yourselves more at odds with stuff. 
a lot of you Geminis are going to find yourself saying no to a lot more things and a lot a lot more things that people that you are trying to get to know wants you to do that you're not going to be okay with that you will have to speak up and say no to. And if the person does not respect the fact that you say no to these things, then it means that those people don't do not really have your best interest in mind. I can deal, I can most definitely deal with somebody telling me no if I if I make an advance towards them and I'm trying to show them that I'm interested in them. And if they tell me no, then I'll step off. Right? But can someone be okay with that? Right? Or are they gonna ask why and all this other type of stuff? Which is still a, in that case, still an invasion of your your boundaries because the answer is still no at the end of the day. And they still have to respect it, even if you were to tell them no. So let's let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. So to clarify it for you Geminis, you have the Chariot, the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and then you have the Temperance. So this is about how um, for you... Uh, so for you Geminis, right, the chariot and the two of pentacles, this is a time and hear me out, but this is a time of great frustration for a lot of you. And the reason why it's, it's a time of great frustration is because again, you're going to find out just how fake a lot of people actually are, because you're going to find yourself being more at odds with others. In other words, you're going to find yourself being more inquisitive, right? More inquisitive. Part of the reason why people end up being shacked up with someone that they don't really know like that, too, too much like that, or they don't really know the dysfunctional situations that they're going to go down sometimes is because they don't ask questions. And really, in the first 24 hours to about a week is when you really start to realize who a person is but it's really a matter of ignoring it but now the chariot the two of pentacles you gemini's are not ignoring it whatever it is that you observe you cannot ignore it anymore so the ace of swords and the temperance now is about how this is a situation where you know because of it your mind right ace of swords your mind is becoming much more sharp but the much more sharp to the to then we get to the temperance much more sharp to what much more sharp to people's dysfunctions right they may have an addiction problem right you can see the angel on here is pouring out a, pouring out a, a cup pouring out a drink they may have addiction problems they may have a problem with confidence right they're always trying to clown somebody humiliate you right you may you may see you're you're gonna start to see these flaws right but to the outside world to the people who are out of touch with reality who are caught up in their own delusion that right you're gonna realize that even when it comes to matters of friends you not you can't keep friends around that that on some fake stuff because they're gonna because gemini they're gonna be on some stuff where they're asking you gemini's why is it that you can't seem to be able to keep someone anymore? And you, you Gemini's, you can't keep anybody. Well, first and foremost, a lot of you Gemini's couldn't keep a lot of people, but for different reasons back then compared to now. You couldn't keep anybody back then because those people, the group of people that you were hanging around was grimy and they was willing to turn on you because they were turncoats. But now it's different because now you, you, you know yourself a little bit more and now you don't want to hang out with them because of the fact that they're dirty, they're dysfunctional, they lack character, they lack integrity. These are turncoats after all. And, 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 and because of that, now it's a situation where even when it comes to friends, they're going to want to know, well, why do you not want to, why is it that you're running through these people? And it makes you look like a player, but you're running, you're not really running through, but you're running through those people because 
you're so you're able to get to the gist of if these are decent people that are masquerading if 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 these are decent people or if they're masquerading is what i'm trying to say like they're decent they're really dysfunctional messed up people but when you actually test their core principles they're they're hypocrites so that's just something that that you know i know this went on for a little while but that's just something that really needed to be talked about because you Geminis are going through that much of a transformation and definitely needed to be talked about. But smash the subscribe button, smash that like button, hit the notification bell and set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos. Also to Geminis, I haven't had you Geminis come through, get a reading from me, come through and get some of my readings or whatnot or buy my books. And if you're going to buy my books, any of my books, please leave some good five star ratings. It'll help my book get found to even more people on Amazon. Really appreciate it if you did get my, my hoodies, my t-shirts, all of that stuff. You're going to see me wear more of my hoodies and, and, and um, sweaters and stuff like that in my upcoming future videos because that weather is getting cold. But I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers. As of now, I have 9,293 so please smash the subscribe button, smash that like button, hit the notification bell, set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.